Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Age of Empires 4. I am still absolutely loving this game and they've done a, a really, really good job of diving me back into the series. Today I am playing a 1v1 skirmish. I am playing as the Rus, this awesome Russian faction that goes ahead and dominates the late game, can play super defensive in the early game. I absolutely uh, love them. Then uh, as my opponent over on the other side of things, we do have the forces of the Mongols. The Mongols are a very interesting skevy, uh, skirmish heavy faction that can absolutely dominate and harass in the early game. So that's my opponent over here. And it should make for a very, very exciting match because I am not the best at this game. I absolutely love it. I feel like I have a really good grasp on exactly what I need to do. But going ahead and actually performing them actions in the right order at the right times are very difficult, especially when you are constantly under heavy harassment that my opponent puts me under in this match. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and actually made a bit of a mistake in the early game. I didn't get this lumber camp building that early. I'm also building the lumber camp kind of far away from my TC, which again is not a good idea. I I should have just stuck it down here so the TC would protect any harassment that comes in. You can see I've got currently got seven people on food just trying to bang that out. One of the great things about the Roost is they don't actually have to rely on getting gold in the early game because of these hunting cabins. As you can see, this is currently giving me 18 gold per uh, per minute, which is nice. And also by killing these hunts as well, um, which you'll, I'll come across momentarily. I actually haven't found the hunt quite yet, as the uh, Mongol Khan continues to harass me. Um, by killing animals, I get gold as well. So it's a nice way to transition up and actually get through that early stage of the game itself, uh, which I am, yeah, obviously a big, big fan of it. And you can see over here a little bit of my micro as well, just kind of moving around, pumping out villages, trying to get as many on this as possible. And then obviously also scouting out as well to see as much of the map as possible. Obviously, you can see my uh, my sheep as well being picked up, which is nice. Discovering some of the relics. The roots are also really, really good at hunting down relics as well. So as you can see, I have seen a, another couple of these hunts. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is basically just move around and try and kill these guys. You can see I am also a, a, a animation cancelling as well when I have the time to when I'm not microing back home. You go ahead and click on the animal, you click off, and then you click back on. I mean, you get this kind of fire rapid succession, which is nice. I've also found another hunt down here as well, which is also pretty good. And as you can see, my first huge mistake, I don't know why I built this down here, and it's definitely going to hurt me. We'll also go ahead and reveal the map as well so we can see what my opponent is doing now finally onto his gold um, and obviously getting a little bit of wood as well. He's actually got a really good trading post right down there as well. Uh, super low. Actually, we both got good trading posts. Uh, all I, what I should have done is maybe just build a market down here because you get more gold in the marketplaces depending on how far away you are. I've also got 11 people on food. I probably don't need that many um, on food this early on in the game. I probably could have stuck with like 10 and then gone up an age a little bit sooner. I think most people stick, uh, at least as playing as a roost, they stick about four on wood and then have about eight on food. Um, I maybe go a little bit hard, obviously this costs food, so the more people you, you spam out, it's good early economy, they also hurt you as well. And now I'm heading my way over here, I kind of see where my gold is, obviously I'm going to want to protect this, and I go ahead and get the Kremlin down. Wouldn't it have been a bad idea to maybe build the Kremlin like here, because that would have protected maybe both of these gold deposits, and also got this wood. One of the great things about the Kremlin as well, is it also gives this bonus uh, if it's by wood, you collect it 20% faster. So it's a nice one to stick quite close to a gold. So it'll protect that. And also give you all this forest as well at a quicker rate, which is super, super nice. Which is why you can see I'm kind of bringing a few people over and building it over here as well to keep that nice and defended. Also trying to start blockading myself in, like just kind of uh, cutting down the avenues. I think is a good idea. Also, it would have been a good idea for me to maybe transition a few more people of these guys over onto different sheeps as well as the Khan continues to attack. And then I go ahead and get my uh, scouts to go and warn him off. Uh, these scouts are really useful. And I also get a nice little kill bear off on his sheep as well, so can't complain there. Definitely should have a couple more people on this as well. Uh, you know, these kind of looking back on these battles are always great for me because I get to take, kind of take a look at exactly, you know, what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. Uh, again, this battle was played kind of closer to launch. So again, some big mistakes there. And then obviously we have the silver tree going down and also a stable immediately going down. So you can already tell my opponent is looking to kind of get out that aggressive horse archers one of the great things about mongols is that they can use them horse archers uh, they can shoot and move at the same time which no other faction gets access to super super strong ability however their horse archers are a tad bit weaker 
Again, just just seeing just seeing this lumber camp is making me shiver inside. Like, why the hell did I put it there? Luckily, I'm going to transition over to this, which obviously also helps protect my gold veins, uh, which is very, very nice. And obviously, just continuing to go ahead and pump out workers as much as I can. My food is actually stockpiling up, and honestly, I, I maybe should have built a barracks down. Uh, but I do actually think in this game go knights and, uh, and archers. They seemingly do a, a pretty decent job uh, off the bat. I also as well, I believe as soon as I go up, if I'm not doing it already, uh, yeah, I'm not doing it already. I'm going to try and pick up this uh, professional scouts as quickly as I can, which allows my scouts not only do more damage against wild animals so they can take on the wolves and they can take on the boars. Uh, fairly okay. The boars are still a little bit of an issue, um, but they also allow me to pick up these deer carcasses as well and bring them back home, which is huge because, again, this is just allows me to safely farm my food around my TC, not have to worry about the harassment on the berry bushes or on farms, which obviously does cost wood. Uh, so yeah, nice. I went up a little bit later than my opponent. His, his score is actually way better than mine. My economy is, uh, yeah, pumping right now. Look how much more food I'm getting than my opponent. Now, even though he, obviously he is now transitioning onto his berries, uh, which is nice to be sort of going up massively now uh, that he has now transitioned. How many workers does he have here? Does it show me? So he has eight on food right now, and I obviously have a little bit more on 10. And yeah, oh my god, so that's current resources. I'm, I'm stupid. But even still, on income per minute as well, you can see they am kind of dominating in a lot of these areas. How many civilians do we both have right now? Is there a way to go ahead and check that out? Um, I'm actually not too sure if there is a way to look. Uh, oh yeah, obviously I just changed players. So I'm on 23, he's on 24. So again, he is actually on a little bit more than me uh, right now. But I imagine he has also... Uh, probably got some horse out. Yeah, he's got some cavalry out right now. So these early knights are great at killing cavalry. They actually get a bonus at killing uh, range units, I believe. Uh, yeah, they actually get a yeah, plus seven bonus against range, you can see there on the attack side. So this is the type of cavalry you're going to want to play and, and probably use against, uh, you know, most archer heavy factions. Khan just continuing to scout. And again, I was just here killing my my uh, my hunt right now. So my hunt is up to 250, which is nice. So again, the more animals I kill, the more bonuses I get up to a level of 500. So right now I'm getting 10% more food and my hunting cabins are generating me more gold. I definitely should have thought about maybe building another hunting cabin over here again for that more food generation. Uh, definitely would not have been a bad idea. And it also would have blocked off some decent terrain as well. So all good. As you can see, the Kremlin as well is, is a kind of an age two castle, which is great. So that'll kind of protect my gold miners quite effectively. And as you can see, I've started to get my archers out as well. Archers are generally really good against uh, against horse archers um, as they can do some serious damage to them and pick them off as they're running around. Whereas obviously melee units actually do have to get a little bit closer uh, and get themselves a little bit more stuck in. Uh, you go. Building another uh, stable now as well. Just going one one stable, one uh, archery range, I believe. Maybe trying to get some knights out as well. Oh, and Jackie, what are you doing? This always makes me cringe seeing... Uh, seeing that under pressure right there, not having that house up. And you can also see as well, building one of my scouts here as well. Unfortunately, he's going to get found out. These woods are great because you can kind of hide in them and uh, scout out again. Scouts of such large range. Sticking one like in here, which you can see I'm doing now as well. And sticking one in here is just a great way of kind of seeing when the enemy's coming, what they're approaching. And there you go. The first a light range cavalry is now out. So it's going to be scary. Oh, that's, that is for calm, right? So he hasn't actually got any horse archers out quite yet, I don't think. Um, I oh know he's just building it right now. Yeah, the archery range obviously does for horse archers. Uh, but I've you know, got a decent setup right now. Again, trying to block myself in. Building a wall here would have been a good idea as well. Just kind of blocking this off. And I think that's something I've learned a lot more from playing more. Um, is definitely going ahead and building uh, walls. I think walls are you know, a great way, especially against cavalry factions like the French, like the Mongols, who will harass you early. Building a wall or two down early is just really, really effective because it allows you to... Uh, yeah, to kind of basically funnel the enemy in, which means I can set up my defense that way. You can see I've also set up my buildings like this, so it's kind of hard for the, the enemy to kind of get in, uh, at least on this section, using that stone as well. And you can also see I'm now collecting this up, which is just booming my food. Like, my economy is looking really, really strong. However, the harassment is going to be coming in. My opponent has, uh, you know, six of this, like, cavalry. And now he's starting. He's got two archery ranges right here. So he's going to be starting to pump these guys out. Luckily, though, I do get my knights in age two as well, which is huge. Getting these early knights are great. They have good armor. They're quite tanky. They have good range defense as well, uh, which is super nice. Again, getting out another house down. And there you go. You can see the raid coming in. I don't, again, I don't know why I'm still farming this. I should be farming this woodland. I really thought I did in the game. Um, so, yeah, it's just super bad. 
Uh, and again, I don't think he gets a single scout, which is nice. So these guys are going to be able to just about range in there, which is nice. One of my knights is about to go off and uh, try and get that couch lance in, but then obviously realizing and coming back. So I think seeing this, seeing this aggression, I should definitely have had this scout uh, looking in. Seeing that he built two archery ranges and also has a military bar barracks and also has a stable, I should have uh, probably gone ahead and deployed my, uh, you know, maybe another uh, archery range down. I think that's probably would have been the play. I have plenty of food in right now. I have 300 food, so I could easily stick one down. Uh, sorry, I have free. Uh, I have, um, yeah, I had that much uh, wood, so I could definitely have stuck one down. You can see as well, I'm now building my blacksmith. I need to get that range defense upgrade as quickly as possible so my units don't get harassed. Also, this would have been a great game as well for textiles as well. Whenever you're playing a super aggressive faction, picking up textiles is actually really useful because it means them harasses of the French knights, of the Mongol horse archers, are going to take that a little bit longer to actually kill your civilians. So picking this up for 50 food and 100 gold, honestly, isn't too bad. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and stick down another stable now as well. Um, and honestly, for the most part, my, uh, my cavalry is looking you know, fairly decent. Um, I've got, what, three of these knights, a handful of archers, enough to harass them. The Kremlin is coming in now as well and even kind of defending this part of the map. So, uh, yeah, the Kremlin was definitely the right decision to pick this up early. Um, and now I'm a little bit more protected here, so I guess I do just stick down here. I don't decide to go over there. And I also go ahead and get a tower down as well. Uh, these wooden fortresses are great. Um, they give you, again, the same bonus as the uh, Kremlin Tower, as well as, as, as well as obviously giving you that defensive ability as well. So it's going to really help to lock this down. Problem is, though, I am starting to run a little bit lower on food. Um, now these deers are going to run out, so I need to start making that transition. And again, something I've learned recently is you want to be slowly transitioning off these 20, oh, sorry, it's 20 or 20 workers. These 12 workers I have on food, I maybe want to start building a couple farms early on before I do officially run out. Um, and again, I think I have my, uh, yeah, this dude going off. It's again going to boost this up. I'm still about 100 off um, getting my final stage. So sending some units out to go ahead and maybe try and finish off a, a boar or two. I, I definitely have them scouted out at this point. Um, yeah, moving out and just killing this boar with a couple cavalry is probably worth it at this point. But as you can see, my opponent, I can obviously also got a read on his gold. I think I also checked his stone. Oh, well, he get, no, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. The Mongols actually just get passive stone constantly uh, through this building right here, so they don't actually have to worry about that. But again, they don't really um, go into two TCs because uh, they spend a lot of, of their stone uh, on upgrades as well, which they're going to be heavily focused on. And now the horse archers are coming in, cavalry roaming around. Again, it would have been a good idea to wall off this section. Looking back on this battle, uh, you can really go ahead and tell. And again, Pushing my dudes back in. I also at this point uh, playing, because again, this was like three or four maybe matches after, um, sorry, about a couple days after launch. Uh, I did actually forget, I didn't realize there was actually a return to work button. Oh, and I, oh my God, Jackie, what are you doing? This harassment coming in. Go in. What am I doing? Hello? Sorry, how long? What, what am I doing? Oh, I'm dealing with this raid. And uh, yeah, so a nice use there, but you know, again, uh, double raiding again my macro is not good but I got a lot of his horses there I think I got all six of his melee horses so even though I lost a bunch of civilians I also managed to kill a lot of his horse archers it actually really worked out in my favor would have been way better though if I would have microed now these guys aren't on gold again uh, I definitely got a bit better from this point but yeah really really poor stuff and as you can see I've actually got a, a fairly sizable force right now a lot of cavalry um, that can do a lot of damage if I get in on this gold I'm gonna kill a lot of these guys uh, very, very effectively. Upgrades are pumped off right now. Have they got many of these upgrades? I'm actually not too sure. Doesn't look like it. I think I've got the uh, melee attack one, maybe. Um, but yeah, I need to be getting them upgrades because again, yeah, there you go. Finally getting the iron under mesh right now, giving that range defense and going off on a little bit of harassment of my own, realizing that, you know, I probably should be, you know, hurting my enemy. I can't just sit back and let him hammer down. I need to go ahead and go on that aggression. And I have the wooden fortress and I have this tower here. So for the most part, I'm too, doing pretty good. But yeah, there is actually a return to work button when you're in, when you've got civilians inside. I think it's like it's something like here or here. I can't remember what hotkey that is. Um, but yeah, it's really, really useful. There you go. My opponent also building Spearman now to counter my cavalry. That's kind of why I've got my knights. And there you go. Coming in for a nice raid of my own. Able to uh, couch on lances. Instantly kill a bunch of his workers. And I actually want to see how many I do get right here. So he's currently at 55 pop cap. He's got 28, uh, 29 workers. And I believe I get all of these guys, which is actually really, really good. 
uh, completely taking him off of gold. Uh, even though he doesn't use gold for his horse archers. No, he does, yeah. He used a bit of gold for his horse archers. That's going to really hurt his economy. And you can see that gold uh, being whittled down right there as I chase off. Again, obviously, whilst this is happening, though, I believe he is also harassing uh, me. Oh, sorry. Wrong wrong camera. Uh, yeah, whilst that was going on, I believe he did drop a raid and then he brought back his units. He's got a lot of spearmen, which is super scary now as he's transitioned out. But yeah, that was a great assault on my part. Able to kill a ton of his workers. Uh, again, down to 22 now uh, sits, which is really bad. Uh, you want to be constantly farming and pumping out uh, very effectively. Uh, and right now, I'm obviously doing the same right now. Just trying to get as many knights out as possible, as much harassment as possible, and able to bring my army back. Again, I probably could have fought this. Uh, maybe. But the spears are scary. I think he's just got the tier two up. Yeah, he's got the hardened spearmen. So these are tier two. He's got the upgrade on them. That's going to be a little bit scary. And, I, I, you know, going back there after dealing with that gold. He's not getting any gold right now. So, uh, you know, really, really good, uh, good assault. Um, so I, yeah, I'm super, super happy with that. Definitely can't complain as he continues to farm. He's also got up to two barracks now. So again, this is something I definitely should have scouted out. I definitely should have seen how aggressive he went because I believe I actually do go up to, yeah, I get two barracks of my own down just to go ahead and start getting some spearmen to counter his spearmen. Um, uh, just kind of to hold that front line, kind of hold him in place whilst my cavalry does their thing and also obviously deal with his uh, his line. And I also start going up to age three as well, which is nice. I don't believe my opponent is going up at all in age, which, you know, is a big advantage on my part. Obviously, he's gone quite aggressive with his units. Um, but yeah, but, you know, the Kremlin coming in clutch, doing a great job right now. And as you can see, he does continue uh, attempt to harass me. Uh, and maybe again, walling this off a bit more would have been huge. Like having a wall from like here to here, just again, closing down these avenues, having a wall from here to here, having a wall like around here is great. And again, the uh, the uh, Roos do such a great job as well with uh, with their walls. They have special bonus wooden walls. They can't get stone walls, but they do a great job elsewhere. And as you can see, the archers are able to pick up a handful of these guys. And I'm still able to kind of really do a great job at, at utilizing this food. Utilizing the deer carcasses is huge. And hopefully I managed to get a few of them. Again, I really don't want to be fighting. I want to be obviously mining that gold. I want to be fighting around here. And again, yeah, just if I had a wall here, man, that would have been huge. So I'm come here and be kind of aggressive. I'm starting to get my own spearmen out now as well. Just allowing the archers to continue to harass, try and pick off a few people. Definitely should have gone harder on archers as well, I think. Uh, having a few more archers would have been a great uh, bonus to me. Unfortunately, losing a scout there, a little bit of a misclick. And right now, I'm just really trying to get in on these, uh, get in on these uh, guys. And now, I kind of realize I have enough knights. Like, I have a lot of knights here. Uh, and able to actually get stuck in there. A few villagers coming in as well. Uh, but yeah, he's going to run away. Unfortunately, picking up a few knights. I, I definitely overstayed my welcome. This knight's probably going to die if he focuses it down. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing a handful of knights there. Finally coming back now uh, as well. I'm just obviously constantly trying to get my gold on the go, uh, which is not bad to see. Again, get another nice little kind of pick there. But really need these archers here. And I need to be getting that archer upgrade as well, uh, if at all possible, uh, as that archer upgrade is huge. It really, really is. So nice thing is I've gone ahead and finally got my landmark built. So I'm actually in age three, whereas my opponent is still uh, in age two, which is going to give me access to the extra upgrades. Uh, I don't think he's even going up quite yet. He's going full on all in here. Me being able to get to age three is just absolutely huge because that allows me to get better units, uh, more upgrades. And you can already start to see, like, I can now upgrade to my, my upgraded knights. I can upgrade to the uh, knight stable. I can also get this extra thing as well, which increases all my knights HP by 20%. I can now also get better pikemen. So you can see I'm upgrading them. Um, and I'm also getting the uh, weapon upgrade. And I imagine I'll be going into the, uh, the rivets very soon as well to get myself the extra range upgrade. Uh, my population is struggling a little bit. Obviously, I should be pumping out, but only being on one TC, it makes sense uh, that I'm still struggling. And again, just, I mean, look at this massive horse archers. It's pretty goddamn scary, the amount he has. Um, but my archer count is starting to get up there, nine. And we've got a lot of knights as well. It's going to be going in. And again, the Kremlin does a good job at defending a large amount of this. Again, I just really don't want to engage this as best as I can. I've got my own spearmen now as well, so I can use these guys to help pick off. And, you know, my knights have to be a little bit careful here. Just try and get them off. But as you can see, most of his spearmen are actually pretty much done now. Uh, he has a handful of them left. And obviously, he's really gone off on these horse archers. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a fight I, I can really take. Just finish off his Spearman. Um, then, his, uh, then his Horse Archer starts to become a little bit less uh, potent. Again, looking back on this battle, I really should have gone heavy on archers. I definitely should have built uh, a second, maybe even a third archery range. Because that would have been really, really effective uh, dealing with these guys. Definitely the way to go. Uh, the Knights are great because of their, the, you know, their upgrades and stuff. But definitely should have grabbed that up. And as you can see, I'm going up to the uh, tier 2 Knights uh, right off the bat. My gold income is skyrocketing. My uh, my food income is not looking good. Oh my god, I have so much wood. I should be selling this in my market, which I don't think I have even have down yet, uh, which is not great. Um, yeah, that's not good at all. Um, as you can see, my opponent, again, he's just like basically at this point all in. Um, you know, he, he's going to be struggling to go up to tier two. And um, the fact that I, that I am at this point is great. So now I'm going to be starting get, getting the special warrior monks for the roost. They have these mounted horses, which are great. It means they can go off and they can collect all the relics on the map, which allows them to get really good gold income. Uh, it also allows them to wallalo very, very effectively as well because they're on mounted, so they can get around the battle map very effectively. And again, this harassment comes in. Um, really should have just built some walls. You know, looking back on it, walls would have been the, the way to go. And that scout goes ahead and gets absolutely nailed. Like, even like a wall across here as well would have been good. I, I definitely have the wood for it as well, which makes this even sadder. He's going to come in and get a pretty effective raid right there as my villagers move away as best as they can. The knight's coming in, causing some good harassment. Um, but, you know, for the most part now, my spearmen are upgraded now. I've got the tier 3 spearmen, so I can start pumping them out. The cavalry's looking good as well. I'm even starting to go ahead and incorporate some horse archers into my army, um, which, again, is pretty effective as well. But, yeah, just the, the sheer mass of my opponent is pumping out. Uh, he is going hard here, looking to end the game as quickly as possible, because now that I am this far ahead, uh, economically, the longer he waits, the worse it is going to be for him. And my army is moving across for the harassment. Uh, he's obviously coming in. Like, I feel pretty safe, but he can't crack me here. My horse archers are able to hold off the enemy. The uh, the Kremlin's doing a good job at kind of, again, picking off a handful of horses. Um, and I think I actually end up finding his army in the middle of this battlefield. And we get a nice little harassment. Maybe we do. Uh, I kind of just pull back then, looking to kind of go in. But realizing he's pretty well defended. I, I could have easily have gone in here and maybe started harassing. Building a ram as well would have been a, would have been pretty effective. I'm actually just getting the siege engineering now, which allows me to build that ram. Uh, a little bit late. Obviously, I could build a siege works now if I wanted to. And um, for the most part, pretty decent. And yeah, getting called out a little bit, having to pull back. Uh, but my force is looking fine. Again, these guys will go back into the Kremlin as they've been doing all game. That's again, I think like maybe putting like a Kremlin spot like here would have been better. That would have helped to guard probably both of these golds. And there you go. Nice. Yeah, the micro becomes a little bit too much for my opponent. I'm actually able to get a bunch of knights here and my horse archers in. And I actually also managed to kill a lot of his uh, units here. My warrior monk in that huge uh, blessing right now. So basically, he has a blessing. Uh, I don't think it actually shows it here. But whenever he attacks something, soldiers in a surrounding uh, area also get a bonus. I think it's like a, a pretty substantial one as well. So again, pulling back my units there. Going back in. Uh, finally about to have this uh, gold vein completely taken. I'll move on to this one uh, momentarily. I just have so much wood right now. I should have a market down selling that. I should have... Um, I should be obviously trading with this now as well, probably from like here. I should probably have gotten a second TC down here as well. This is a perfect position for a second TC. Uh, but again, when you're under this much harassment, things do kind of get a little bit hard. And uh, you can see I'm bringing my boys back now as well. Uh, and there you go. Uh, a bunch of archery rangers being constructed now. Uh, you know, as we do go into this, realizing that he's still not in age two. Uh, this was probably the time to go, uh, you know, go in on them. So as you can see, my army's looking pretty good as well at this point as well. Got that wood down, finally moving over here. Don't really understand how it did take me this long. Putting another tower down as well, which is going to be helping out. Again, they immediately mount that off. And yeah, yeah, able to, to pretty, you know, pretty substantially take that on down. My economy is looking fairly good, even though I do, you know, have a pretty weak setup right now. Um, you know, I'm only at 50 bills, which is really bad. Uh, I definitely could be doing better right there. But only being on one TC is really when, you know, I knew my opponent wasn't going on that TC. Uh, you know, he was going very aggressively all in. So knowing I basically just had to kind of weather that and slowly go up my ages, slowly keep defensive, and then I can just crush him. Uh, the army is looking very good now as well. My knights are, you know, basically up there at, you know, the max tier. Um, I don't know if I've got, you know, that's Imperial Age and that's uh, not enough resources. So yeah, I've got these two already, so I've got the attack upgrade on them. I've got my uh, my blacksmith been pumping out as well. 
uh, quite nicely. I've got the upgrades for my, my range defense and also my melee attack as well, uh, which has also been an absolute bonus. So all my units are getting a huge upgrade on their melee defense, or sorry, their range defense, which allows me to combat his horse archers very effectively. And then finally, my opponent does go up to that age three, but not really something I'm too worried about. And now I realize, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in a fairly good control, finally picking up that uh, last economic bonus. And yeah, then I go ahead and drop that Walla Low down. And my opponent is just a little bit too slow. Taking that. Taking his Spearman. Um, and now I'm pushing in. And he is going to go ahead and give that GG momentarily. Taking all his horse archers. He has nothing really left. So, you know, thinking about it, I, I could have I could have attacked way early. I could have tried to timing push with, with Rams a lot more effectively. Um, I, could have, I think I could have done that to him a lot quicker. I should have definitely have transitioned into loads more archers. Seeing that he didn't actually bring any much melee cavalry into the fight, most of my army should have been like spearmen archers. That's probably what I should have done. Uh, and then slowly transitioned into knights in the late game. Uh, maybe just use like five or six knights to harass his gold would have been a great way about it. But that's going to be the match itself. Again, I'm still very much getting into Age of Empires 4. I, I kind of regard myself as, as fairly decent at this game. Uh, at RTS game, sorry. Um, but obviously, whenever you transition over to a new one, you're going to be learning a lot more. And again, this was like two days after launch as well. So when the game it was very, very fresh indeed. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.